Welcome to Walking the Candy Aisle. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff, and today I have a review for you of Cadbury's Cristello. Cri Cadbury's Cristello. Can't even say it right. Cadbury Crispello Vanilla Velvet uh, is what is in front of me. And I should just learn how to read. That's okay. This is the Cadbury Crispello bar. Kind of a bar. It's one of those multi piece bars. Um, but uh, this one has three pieces in it, and they look kind of like that, apparently. It's a vanilla velvet. Vanilla, let's just see what it says here. It is, um, this should explain it. Of course. It's a thin, crispy shell filled with a creamy vanilla-flavored filling and covered with Cadbury milk chocolate. So you've got vanilla-flavored filling in the middle. You have crispy wafer shell. And, uh, like what, like a walnut shape kind of? I don't know. And then, um, a, uh, dipped in thin layer of milk chocolate. It's new because Cadbury launched the Crispello in, uh, 2012, I believe. Um, this is a product in, uh, available in the UK and, uh, Australia and, you know, other places, but not in Canada where I live, so far as I know. I don't think I've ever seen this, um... But, uh, you know, maybe I missed it, I guess. <clears throat> this was brought to me, actually, um, from Australia. As you can see, it's a product of... Uh, where is this? Manufactured in uh, Dunedin, New Zealand, actually. And yet... And yet... Made, uh, made in the Czech Republic from lo local and imported ingredients. By the way, Chris Bello and the color purple are trademarked. <laughs> the color purple is trademarked, people, so uh, watch out for that. Um, anyway, I'm sure they mean the Cadbury purple. No, the reason that this is an interesting bar, though, is because this was launched in 2010 or 2012, one of those. Um, it was launched pretty recently, and Cadbury positioned this as a bar specifically for women. Um, now, we all know that the, uh, you know, people have stopped eating as many treats because of People are way more health conscious now, and women eating chocolate is <laughs> a large part of the market. So, um, you know, I mean, it's it's a significant portion. I'm sure men eating chocolate is a significant portion as well. So they launched this with, um, like, specifically as, like, a locale option. Um, I, I You know, on my reviews here, I'm not, this not what my reviews are about, is about the, um, you know, the, the sugars and the, and the, that kind of stuff, so uh, and the calories, so I don't focus on that, and I'm not super treat wise, as they say in the biz. <laughs> but um, I don't think this is, from what I was reading, I don't think this is overly uh, like this is not like a diet bar or anything. I mean, there are other things that you can get out there that I'm sure are better for you. This is still a chocolate bar, guys. <laughs> it's not, uh, you know. It's, it's not like you're not eating anything, but the idea here is that you're eating less of it. I guess because there's three of them, you can eat one at a time and take your time with it. Jeez, how do you open this thing? It's like sealed in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Um, whoa. Yikes. Jeez, oh, a piece of it just like flipped up in my eye. Ow. That doesn't look anything like the picture. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> what? 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 Let's just say that again. What? What the what? Okay. Let's imagine that this was not, you know, these ones are kind of broken-ish. This one's not. It's just covered in pieces of the other ones. Okay. So here's the whole one. This is not exactly what, I was expecting like a nice walnut shape. This is just kind of weird, right? I, I don't know. I guess it did come from overseas and everything. But come on, people. Ugh. All right. Well, that's what we got here. Um, it's not that it's like any, I guess, less appetizing than that shape, but it's different, that's for sure. Oh, also, I should note that Cadbury, when they launched this, they also launched the Crispello, um, the double chalk variety, which I think is the one that they're really pushing. This is the vanilla, vanilla velvet skew. 
uh, alternate flavor. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. That's weird. Okay. So the wafer is very thin, like a thin, um, what do they call it? Crocant, right? Like a wafer shell surrounding a filling as per the Ferrero company would do, say, for example. It's very thin. And the chocolate, albeit a little melty, is good, but, um, but not the star of the show here. It's really all about that filling. It's like... Kind of like a, a buttery frosting. Hmm. This whole thing kind of, kind of just collapses. Okay. Here's what it reminds me of. You know those, um, those wafer crackers? There's like, sorry, wafer cookies that you get, wafer biscuits? It's like a rectangle of wafer and then a thin layer of frosting and then another rectangle of wafer and they're like this thick and then you have like six of them. You know, the wafers all pressed together. Um, and then, you know, it's chopped into like long rectangles, like fingers, right? It's like that. So like a really thin wafer, but imagine, imagine it was just one of those wafers with like a ton of that frosting on the inside. And it's not super high quality frosting on the inside. It's just, there's a lot of it. It's light, it's airy. You kind of chomp right through it. You know how those wafers are in those crackers, those biscuits, right? They're really, it's really super thin, like that kind of papery wafer that doesn't taste like anything that just kind of dissolves. It's just there more for structural support. That's what this is like. Um, I mean, they took the trouble to dip it in, dip it in frosting, in, um, in uh, chocolate, I guess. But uh, let's get into this other one, see if I can get a better sort of shot of what we're getting here. But just because I said it was buttery, does not make this like, um, you know, this is not like a, like a nice buttery lint or something. It's creamy, but I'm having so much trouble getting a focus there. It's creamy, but, uh, but it's not that good. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's just like, it's pretty nothing. Um, no, it's a little on the bad side. <laughs> it's a little closer to the bad side than the nothing side. It tastes like something, but it just doesn't taste like very vanilla-y. It doesn't taste very smooth. I mean, it tastes kind of creamy, but like, not like velvet cake creamy. It's just like, <sighs> I don't know, like one of those, like one of those finger wafers made large. That's not something that I would really want. The nice thing about those finger wafer cookies, I mean, granted there's a lot of different kinds of those, but um, is that the frosting, it's like frosting and it's sweet. This is not, not so sweet. It's kind of bland. It's kind of meh. Um, and there's a lot of it to sink through. And I know it's airy and you kind of just dissolve away with it, but um, this isn't something I'd seek out. This is not for me. I don't think that this is worth your time. Uh, I, I don't really like it. Walking the Candy Isle is gonna rate the Cadbury Crispello Vanilla Velvet. I'm gonna rate it a two out of five. Um, I like the idea, I guess, but uh, I do not like the execution and it just doesn't taste that good. So whether it's, you know, better for you, quote unquote, or not, um, it's not one that I would, I would get again, and I don't think you should bother with it. So that's my take on it, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Please, uh, please let me know. I always appreciate your, your thoughts and observations. Also, let me know if you have any requests of things you'd like me to review. I'm always looking for suggestions. Um, please click the links that you see on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.